Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer with St. James Cathedral in Toronto. My name is Claire. I am a lay pastoral associate with the cathedral, and today I will be leading our morning office out of the Book of Alternative Services, and we begin on page 45. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall, show, shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. O come, let us worship. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. O oh, come, let us worship. The Psalms appointed for this morning are Psalms Five and six, which are found on page 708 and 709 of the prayer book. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken to my cry for help, my King and my God, for I make my prayer to you. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. Early in the morning I make my appeal and watch for you. For you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness, and evil cannot dwell with you. Braggarts cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those who work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies. The bloodthirsty and deceitful, O Lord, you abhor. But as for me, through the greatness of your mercy I will go into your house. I will bow down toward your holy temple in all of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness, because of those who lie in wait for me. Make your way straight before me. For there is no truth in their mouth. There is destruction in their heart. Their throat is an open grave. They flatter with their tongue. Declare them guilty, O God. Let them fall because of their schemes. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But all who take refuge in you will be glad. They will sing out their joy forever. You will shelter them, so that those who love your name may exult in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. You will defend them with your favor as with a shield. Psalm 6. Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me in your wrath. Have pity on me, Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are racked. My spirit shakes with terror. 
O Lord, how long? O Lord, how long? Turn, O Lord, and deliver me. Save me for your mercy's sake. For in death no one remembers me. And who will give you thanks in the grave? I grow weary because of my groaning. Every night I drench my bed and flood my couch with tears. My eyes are wasted with grief and worn away because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all evildoers, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies shall be confounded and quake with fear. They shall turn back and suddenly be put to shame. God of mercy and tenderness, giver of life and conqueror of death, look upon our weakness and grief and restore us to health that we may sing a new song to your praise through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 40, verses 25 to 31. To whom then will you compare me? Or who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high and see who created these. He who brings out their host and numbers them, calling them all by name, because he is great in strength, mighty in power, not one is missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not grow he does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's say together the song of Zechariah, which is found on page 88 of the BAS. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our epistle reading today is from Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Chapter 1, verses 15 to 23. I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints, and for this reason I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you. What are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints? And what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe, according to the working of his great power? God put this power to work in Christ when he, seated him from the when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, 
far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he has put all things under his feet and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's say together the Hear, O Israel, on page 53. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Let's say the litany on page 116. Let us pray in faith to God our Father, to his Son Jesus Christ, and to the Holy Spirit, saying, Lord, hear and have mercy. For the Church of the Living God throughout the world, let us ask the riches of his grace. Lord, hear and have mercy. For all who proclaim the word of truth, let us ask the infinite wisdom of Christ. Lord, hear and have mercy. For all who have consecrated their lives to the kingdom of God, and for all struggling to follow the way of Christ, let us ask the gifts of the Spirit. Lord, hear and have mercy. For Elizabeth, our Queen, for the Prime Minister of this country, and for all who govern the nations, that they may strive for justice and peace, let us ask the strength of God. Lord, hear and have mercy. For scholars and research workers, that their studies may benefit humanity, let us ask the light of the Lord. Lord, hear and have mercy. For all who have passed from this life in faith and obedience, let us ask the peace of Christ. Lord, hear and have mercy. Eternal God, who at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit, keep your children born of water and the Spirit, faithful to their calling. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of peace enable us to do his will in every kind of goodness, working in us what pleases him through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace.